Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, first I'm going to start off just by giving a shout out to all my subscribers. Uh, I can't believe we managed to hit over 100 now. Um, that's pretty amazing to me. Doesn't seem like a lot probably to most of you. Um, but I started this channel just as a, a simple kind of hobby. I enjoyed obviously collecting. Um, so I figured I would share my finds with uh, others out there so that they can see what's out there. If they're new to the hobby they can maybe get some insight on what's out there and uh, some little bit of education on some of it so again thank you to everyone that subscribes everybody that watches I appreciate it and uh, I'll keep the content going and a uh, ton more videos to come we're gonna start off with obviously what you can see in front of you we got the Hot Wheels Monster Jam and the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks so that's the transition um, since Monster Jam has, I guess, chose to go with Spin Master for their Monster Jam lineup. Um, Hot Wheels is continuing on with their Monster Truck series. So you can see the two there in front of you. We'll review them. I got the full set of the Bone Busters. That's a brand new release. All right, we'll start off with the Hot Wheels Monster Truck. So again, this is um, their uh, take now since they're not doing the uh, Monster Jam lineup. But pretty cool packaging, um, great artwork all the way around as you would expect from Hot Wheels. You got the Hot Wheels Monster Truck. It's like a little uh, pin like they did kind of back with the olden days, I guess, kind of when they first released. They're kind of sticking with that tradition. Um, kind of neat to see. Um, but amazing detail on the actual truck itself. This one is a test subject. This is four of 16. So obviously there's gonna be quite a few of them. Very, very nice. Very similar. I mean, obviously they made Monster Jam for how many years? So they'll have to change stuff slightly just to, um, you know, for copyright and stuff, but very, very cool. Right, you can see through the packaging to the base, it's all chrome. So majority of this is plastic, the body will be metal, but very, very cool. And then you can see here, and you wanna pause on there, but you can see the lineup here. So all their famous castings, you can see they got Bone Shaker. Um, looks like a uh, dairy, I don't know if it's a dairy delivery, but something along those lines. Very cool stuff. So, tons to look for. Um, these ones, I don't know. Um, there was only one at the Walmart. I didn't even see a spot for them, so I don't know if someone bought all the rest of them. I doubt it. I don't know if maybe someone bought it at a different Walmart and returned it, something like that. But um, I guess they're out there hitting the Walmart. So if you're out looking for these, they should be hitting soon. And these are a 2018 release. So... They should be, should be seeing these very soon anyway. Um, like I say, they only had this one. Unfortunately, I probably would have bought uh, several more. Um, they are pretty cool. All right, these are the uh, Monster Jam lineup. So again, from Hot Wheels, this is the Bone Buster Collection. So you can see here, it includes the um, Stunt Ramp. This is Monster Mutt, one of five. So you can see the detailing here and how it's done. It's pretty cool. Very nice attention to detail, of course. Big chrome engine in there. Kind of neatly done with the, uh, how it looks kind of like a skull, sort of, and pretty neat. The tongue sticking out. But uh, very, very cool. And there's the other ones on the back here which we have the full set, we'll review all of those. This is a 2017 license. I haven't seen these yet. These were there at the same time I picked up the other one, but very cool. Um, you can see a little bit of just, uh, I mean, you saw it in the, the preview before, but the packaging, um, since since Hot Wheels can do basically whatever they want, you can see how they uh, have pretty slick artwork compared to the Monster Jams are always basically the uh, the stadium and whatnot. All right, we got number 205, a dragon. Very, very cool. 
So they're all very similar. Obviously, these have all been seen before in multiple colors and everything, but you can see the mouth there with the skulls, which is pretty cool. Horns on the top. Got the studs down the center there. Just a pretty cool casting. As you can see, they're obviously very, very close to what uh, the Hot Wheels monster trucks are. And we got, uh, what do we got? Shark Wreck. Again, all these are the same, except for the castings here. See, it's got the Monster Jam on the fin there. Hot Wheels on the side. Very, very cool. Kind of all the same... Um, Decorations and colors and everything, but just uh, done to suit the vehicle. But very cool. If you're a Monster Jam collector, you'll probably want to definitely pick up this set. It's very, very cool. Zombie. I don't collect all of these castings on their own, um, and I don't collect all of the Monster Jam, that's for sure. There's tons of them out there, and they're constantly re released and everything. But I do get the ones I like. This set here just seemed kind of cool and the colors and, the, and the, the way that the decorations were on the vehicle is pretty cool. You can see here, the got the wrinkly. You can see it's actually like in, we can see the ears and everything. It's pretty cool how they have it all raised surface like that. Very, very neat. Interesting. This one's here four or five. And the last one to this set. Predator. Five of five. So again, nicely detailed. Monster Jam Hot Wheels. Logo on the door. This one has the very similar to the previous one with kind of the, the raised features in the face, the ears, the eyes. Very, very cool. Got the fangs there, which is pretty neat. And they all come with, like I said, the ramps, different colors. So if you like take them out of the box and play with them, they all come with that. Some will come with crushed cars. Um, again, that is the full set of them. And this is the Bone Buster collection. Now, if any of you out there have seen um, the Spin Master stuff, I haven't seen it. Um, so if anybody has come across it in the stores, uh, just leave a comment below on uh, your thoughts on it. Um, like I say, when I find it, I'll probably pick up a couple and just preview them just to see what they're like. Um, but uh, I don't know if it's a brand I'll collect, to be quite honest. Same with the Hot Wheels one. Having 16 more monster truck or anything like that, it's, it's almost too much. Um, when you collect certain things, it's not so bad. Um, I can't collect everything, so, but I always like to pick up a couple models, at least to share on the channel. I don't have too much of um, any of these items here, the M2, I got a few uh, Matchbox, we're just going to throw them in on this video here. Um, this one here is obviously part of the Coca-Cola lineup, previewed these in other videos, they've released these in other colors and whatnot, but... Um, they're very nicely detailed. Um, I love M2 stuff as well as green light. Um, you can see here, this one's a 1965 Ford Econoline. Fans and trucks are my favorite. Coca-Cola, the old school logo with the guy there. That is pretty awesome. Even got it on the back of the card. These come in an acrylic case with the, the display, so you can, once you take it out, it's all protected and you can stack them and these are all metal with rubber tires but I only picked up the one there was basically um, they kind of re-released them all in the other colors but these are just too expensive um, and they're very nicely detailed and whatnot but I mean to have you know you're gonna have 10 Econoline vans just with different um, you know, different variations of color and decals and whatever. Um, to me, it's just, it's too much to collect them all. Um, I try to get like maybe the vans and stuff um, in that collection just because I like them. But um, these castings range, um, 
I think they're about twelve, thirteen dollars. So a little pricey um, to collect them all. It just it just adds up too fast, especially with the amount of um, die casts uh, some people buy, such as myself. All right, a few from Matchbox here. Um, I did preview some of these. Um, this particular one I have already previewed, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. But um, it's a very cool casting. It's the uh, Rescue Series 51 Hudson Hornet, and it's the uh, Fire Chief. Very cool. Um, love the new packaging that they've done. The casting is pretty awesome. You can see there for a dollar car, it's pretty nice. These are just metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. Uh, the back's there if anyone wants any info there. These are brand new releases. Um, I just picked these up as a few. A few more here. Haven't been able to find these, so um, this one here is the Road Trip series. And this is the 08. Uh, this is the, however you say that. Interesting. Um, it's kind of different. Must be a European something because it's a truck. I don't know who makes that, but I'm sure if anybody knows, you can just leave the comment below. It's kind of neat. SSV. Kind of interesting. I do remember reading this. I can't remember uh, where this was originated from, but pretty cool in the green anyway. Um, looks pretty slick. Again, metal body, plastic base, and plastic tires. Pretty cool. And then we got, which I think is pretty awesome. This is the um, Jaguar XK140 Roadster. That is just awesome. This is the Road Trip series as well. Just an amazing casting here. Quite like this. Headlights, see through window. Oh, it's kind of got a blue uh, tinge to it there, red right interior. If you can see right there, it's kind of got a, like a fleck in the paint. Very, very cool. Bumpers, front and back. I mean, for a dollar car and artwork and everything, pretty awesome little casting, and it's a cool car to begin with. We got the ever popular here, Austin Healy Roadster. Um, same thing, road trip, but very very cool. This one also features. You can see the headlights, the tampo work, grill. Very, very nice. Done in a tan interior. Nice red paint. What it's got there. Some sort of signature. But very, very cool. If you're out looking for these, um, Walmart's been stocking these for quite some time. But of course, these particular models here um, are gone as soon as um, they hit the peg. So you pretty much got to get there um, when you can. Check often as you can. and. You will find them. All right, I picked up a couple of these. Maisto, um, I did do a preview already on these models. Um, the detail on some of this stuff is not great. It's a, it's an inexpensive model. Um, these ones are on sale, like I didn't pay that price. Um, but ironically, they are more expensive than a Hot Wheel. And let me tell you, the, the quality isn't there. But, they do have some pretty cool cars, so they don't label them on the package, but they are labeled on the bottom. So, if I can get the camera to focus. So, 1969 Dodge Charger RT. So, that is a pretty cool muscle car. I quite like it anyway. You got the Charger logo there, the RT on the back stripe. It's got a nice low stance to it. No interior, the windows are blacked out. But, I mean, this one here is pretty nice. I mean, you can still get this in a Hot Wheel for $1.25, but, I mean, just to have it as, a, as an extra in the lineup for your collection, very, very nice. And then we got here, probably all backwards, this one here, the opposite this way. So, Lamborghini Adventure, or Aventador, LP 700 or something like that so I mean these are licensed models um, but 
very very cool um, I'm not a huge fan of the exotic stuff but I know there's lots of people out there that are not a ton of detailing on a lot of these in like a Hot Wheel would have rear lights and front lights when it comes to these guys um, but you can see there symbol on the front it does have painted front lights but again no interiors on these so kind of neat nothing really on the way of packaging does give you all their licenses that they have so they do have a lot of licenses anyway and we got of course a Porsche which is pretty cool I love Porsches um, I previewed one that was a four-door that model I don't particularly understand not a bad little, uh, little Porsche there and then we got again this one here is the Lamborghini Merliago, however you say that, something like that, I guess. Um, this one has rear lights, but no front lights. It does have the uh, symbol on the front. Um, it's kind of neat, but you can see um, on some of their stuff, like proportion wise, you can see in the front here the wheel wells, it's not proportioned properly, but these were fairly inexpensive. Um, for what they are um, just to have to a collection if you like um, the exotic cars and whatnot they are still pretty cool all right that's going to wrap it up for this video again i want to thank all my subscribers out there i appreciate the support um there will be a ton more content coming hopefully some giveaways in the future i'm going to do some upgrades i already did some upgrades in lighting and whatnot um, hopefully some camera upgrades um, just to help the channel out. So again, thanks everyone for the support. Thanks to all my viewers. Thanks for watching. Bye.